For this setup, we have a buck converter outputting 5.1 volts going to the pin 2 of the Raspberry Pi. Pin 4 of the Raspberry Pi is taking that 5 volts and passing it to the micro servo. The ground connection coming from the buck converter is going into pin 9 on the Raspberry Pi, going out to the micro servo on pin 6. The pulse width modulation signal for the micro servo is going out on pin 22. The MG90S micro servo has approximately 180 degrees range of motion. This range of motion is represented in code by the numbers 0 through 12. 0 being the on state without movement, 2 being 90 degrees in one direction, 7 being straight up and down, and 11 being 90 degrees in the other direction, with 12 being its max range of motion. In the code, we will be moving this 90 degrees in one direction and only getting 45 degrees of motion. And we'll be moving it 90 degrees in the other direction and only getting 45 degrees in motion. That's because we have a gear reduction here of approximately 2 to 1. Other things to note, the red wires are 5 volt positive, the brown wires are ground, and the yellow wire is the signal coming from the Raspberry Pi to the micro servo. Here we have the gear.py script we'll be demonstrating momentarily. For this demonstration, we are using a default installation of Raspberry and Bullseye. No other packages were installed. While I did not need to install any packages, if you encounter any errors while importing, you may need to install additional items. Imports. These modules allow us to communicate with the GPIO pins and use time in our scripts. GPIO set mode board allows us to reference the GPIO pins based on their pin numbers on the Raspberry Pi rather than the pins on the microcontroller. For this demonstration, the servo's PWM wire is connected pin 22, set up as an output pin with a 50 Hz software generated PWM signal. Servo.start7 sets the servo to its mid position, allowing us to install the gear. At the end of the script, we shut down the servo and clean up the GPIO pin configuration. Here we have the servo.py script. This script allows us to demonstrate incrementally moving the servo through its range of motion. This script's imports and GPIO setups are similar to the gear.py script. Things that are different. Last turn. Parts of this script use the last known position of the servo to determine what to do. At the beginning of the script, we set this to 7 so that the script logic has something to work with. This variable is used to determine what direction to move the servo and is passed to the change duty cycle command to set the position of the servo. Change duty cycle. The position of the servo is set by the PWM duty cycle. We change the position of the servo by adjusting the duty cycle of the signal going to the servo. Time to wait. This sets how long to wait in seconds between steps. Def turn egg contains our movement logic, and the while loop calls the movement logic, pauses, then calls the movement logic again. Similar to the gear.py script, we stop the servo and clean up the GPIO pins. To install the gear on the egg cradle, we first want to run the Python script gear.py. This will set the servo to a known position. Now that the script has finished running, we can install the gear. This script sets the known position to the level position of the egg cradle. With the gear installed, we can now run the Python script servo.py to demonstrate one way we can control the servo and thus the egg crate from the Raspberry Pi. Notice this is stepping through small increments over time so that we don't have a rapid movement of the servo and thus the eggs. If you found this video interesting and would like to see more on building your own egg incubator, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel.